All right, we're another iconic Masters draft. I'm here with my buddy Mike B. And uh, what does this dude do? He bar bobbly booze. X all over counters the place. too many. You put a plus one plus one counter on it. I don't know if that's good enough to commit to in pack one, pick one. Seems pretty meh. You seem pretty meh. How dare you? Yeah, well. There's a storm card. Force that. Yeah, there you go. Storm. Ivy Elemental's okay. Star Compass is fine. Overgrown Battlement's fine. Hmm. I mean, you can't just dab all the time. Oh, this has gotta... Double Strike, too. Oh. Hey. That's interesting. Maybe we do take this. That guy seems good. I'm going to take it. Oh, and followed by Warren Clex? All right, well. Hey, that's pretty good. Also, Fireball? Dang. Got to use those dabs sparingly. I think Fireball's probably better. Oh, man, you're probably right, but good lord. I think you're right. I don't like it, but I think you're right. Thran Dynamo works with both of these. Yeah, boy. What is this weirdo again? It's a 4-4 four, four for 7. If you choose an opponent, if that player has more cards in hand than you, draw cards equal to different. So if they have like 5 cards and we have 2, we get to draw 3? That's actually pretty pretty reasonable. Yeah, but it costs 7 mana, so realistically it's going to be like, this is the last card in my hand. They have 1 card in hand. I draw 1 card. Yeah. Yeah, you're not wrong. I'm going to take the, dy the Dynamo. I also like Bailoth. Ooh, Sultai Flare. Ivysaur. Hmm. Mm -hmm. You just take a Boros Garrison what as well. Venusaur? Whatever. So, X spell number three. Flare or Boros Garrison, I think. This double land is good. There's no, no, we're not really missing out on much here. This guy gives you a lot of life. You take it. Eh. Eh. Actually, maybe it's this guy. I don't know. Because this, I like having four drops just because it's uh, it's a pretty easy spot to get to with all the mind stones and compasses and things like that. Oh, Rot Farm I like. Oh, Wall of Roots I like too, though. Dang it. I think Wall of Roots is better than Rod Farm. I agree. I reluctantly agree. All right, now we're going to take this Boros Garrison. Oh, another, another Wall of Wall Roots, Roots though. Man! Yeah, we're just going to keep going Wall of Roots. Oh, another Dynamo. Okay. All right, now it's Growth Chamber. Yeah. Yeah. Seems okay. Let's play Twister. Let's play Risk. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Andy, did you hear about this one? I just watched the uh, the Netflix special... Um, what's it called? It's like Jim Carrey as Andy Kaufman. It's pretty good. Well, hey, that's pretty good. Why do you like this? Is that why the song's stuck in your head? Yes. Also, Jim Carrey's gotten very weird in his old age. I think he's always been weird. Yeah, but he was down to earth then. Now he's not even really down to earth. I'm going to take this Star Compass. That recent interview with him is pretty... Uh... Oh boy, it's something alright. Wow, that's a late Azorius charm. It's pretty late. This seems actually great in this format. Sure as a flyer? Yeah. I'm going to take this and put it in the board. Oh wow, I'll actually play this. We have double Durant Dynamo, triple two, two mana thing. Hmm. Take the card we might play, I guess. If you believe they put Jim Carrey on the moon. Jim Carrey on the moon. Doesn't make any sense. 
No, he's been to the moon. Really? Yeah. Tell me more. It's really all there is to tell about it. Okay, well. Oh, splatter thug. That's a nice little, nice little late perk. Yeah, you have two of them. All the flyers will die. Well, that's a thing. It's not the color we're looking for, but it's real good. We could abandon red. Or green. That will give up a lot of picks, though. Right. Like... Abandoning green, like, this is probably one of our better cards. And then we lose a lot of acceleration. This is a, a colorless land. And if we abandon red, good lord, our two best cards are gone. The pack is I'm going to take terrible. it anyway, because I don't think it's. I don't think there's anything better. The problem with this format is there's a, lot of, there's a lot of ramp, but there's not a lot of fixing. Yeah. Like, Star Compass doesn't fix your mana because you have to have a basic land, so you have to have a planes. Wall of Roots is green. Mindstone is colorless. Dino uh, is colorless. Guardian Idol is colorless. Hey! That is a good land. It's also like six tickets. So I'm going to take the six tickets. Six ticket runnies. This card was unbeatable in Magic Origins draft, so I'm really not surprised that it's un uncommon now. You played it as a 2-2 two -two on turn 2, it attacks for 2, and then you, it becomes a 3-3 three -three because it's renowned. So then you have a 3-3 three -three Vigilant creature from turn 2 on. Seems pretty good. I mean, I'm not going to take a Mind Stone over a Yose. Like, it's, it's very early. Like, it's early enough that I'm not going to... Oh, wow. That'll help us cast Yose. And Otis Lobra. Does that guy go for anything? Probably not. 40 cents. Foil version? 50 cents. Nevertheless, it's still the pick. So. It is a good creature. That's cool. It's also a danger noodle. <laughs> You're not wrong. Fire main angel. Hmm. A lot of double white cards coming through. Yeah. Maybe we're splashing red. Could see that. Yeah, I'm just going to take fire main angel. We have a ton of ramp, so... There we go. Now we're talking. Hmm. Serum patterns in this? Why? That's weird. Like, like serum powder needed a reprint. My dad needed a reprint. Well, your dad isn't serum powder. Yet. He never will be. Wow. Horton Dragon seems decent here. Right, but it's double red, and we just said that red is our splash color. It's still good. Whatever. Nimbus Maze, look at all these lands that are coming through. Enlarge? Is that sorcery? Yeah, but then it gives it trample, and it has to be blocked, so... It's a good way to clear a board, I guess. Nerly, thanks so much, man. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. I guess it's just enlarge here. Side eye. I mean, Dragon Egg is cool if we can get Kiki Jiki, but <laughs> I'm gonna take this Netcaster Spider. We can take a Rot Farm, but eh. Ha 
how many of these are there? Just enough. Yeah, all right. Boros Garrisons make this deck a lot better. It's hard to trigger. Yeah, it's not. It's not for us. Why is this a Sphinx? Shouldn't this be a dragon? What is it? What set is this guy is from, guys? Hmm. Bogbird Witch. There are a lot of blue and white cards coming around. Play that. Double white? I guess our like these are double white, but I'm not thrilled about it. I mean red could just be our splash, like we've literally been playing. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, but then we're, like, picking up double red, double red combat so the tricks. Packs have been terrible. Right, but just because they've been terrible doesn't mean we don't have to play these cards, like... We got another pack. Oh, all right. Well, that's a good one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, pretty sure it's just austere command here. It is a good card. Hmm, Commander 2015, huh? Okay, okay. Yeah, just taking this. I think we're pretty, pretty solidly Naya right now. Geez, 75 days without power? Oof. Oh my god, that's ridiculous, dude. River of Tears. So far we've seen Grove, River, and Nimbus Maze. I'm just going to take Hero's Bane, because that card's very good. This isn't uncommon in this set. Wow. That's weird. Rare before. Yeah, this is not... Look at this thing. Oh, alright. I'm in. Any on-color uh, dual land I'm going to take. This guy's good. This guy also gives lifelink to our Hero's Bane and our Savageborn Hydra and our Splatter Thug. Relevant. Blinding Mage is also very good, though. I didn't see that. That might be better. Probably is better. Is it? It's tricky. Angelica Chord is is now the time? Nah, we still have a lot of ways to gain life. If if any if this guy triggers once, then we're then we're in. Oh, we also have a student of Ojutai on the sideboard. That makes it a lot more reasonable. Yeah, but not by much. You can play guard duty. It's removal. I'll be a week. Yeah. I think I'm just going to take this in case we do get something to go with it, because I think it's very strong if you have uh, supporting cards. Oh, it's Rand Dynamo number three. No, nope. just, just kidding. I own judgment, probably. <laughs> what? I own judgment, probably. Yeah, that seems good. Oh, yeah, there we go. Nope, just kidding again. Dirkwood Bailoff seems great here. It's all right. I mean, it's a five-mana 1-1, one, one, right? Oh, Boros Garrison number three. It's a five-mana 1-1. One, one. Mm, not quite. Yeah, it is. It's Wait. It's a five-mana 1-1. One, one. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. Yeah, you totally did. No, I didn't. I, to I totally did. Ivy Elemental? Yeah, I don't think we need Or Boros that. Garrison. Yeah, how many bounce lines do you want to play, dude? Uh, four. I guess, I mean, that would be on color. Yeah, I like that a lot. All right. Spider. Seems fine. I'm just take River of Tears because it's a... Uh... Yeah, it's fine. It's a sweet rare. Now we can get that guard duty, I guess. All right. Seeker of the way. Decent two drop. And it goes well with our Angelica Chord. Hmm. 
So we also have, with four Boros Garrisons, we can definitely play 15 lands here. We could probably play 14. Ugh, I don't know about that. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not about it, but I'm just saying we could. We also have double Thran Dynamo. And then three of these. Like, we have a lot of fixing in this deck. And by fixing, I mean ramp. Like, this is all ramp here. I'm going to take this Nature's Claim. We also have some really good cards, too, with Fire Main, Austere Command, Yose, Savageborn, and Fireball. This deck looks good. Oh my god, this is going to be me saying a 5 mana 1-1. One, one. I'm just kidding again. Thurko Bail seems great here. Right here. Sorry. I mean, it's, it's a 5 mana 1-1, one, one, right? One. Oh, oh, Boros Garrison, Garrison number, number 3. The 5 mana 1-1. One, one. Mm, not quite. I'm just kidding again. Oh, got him. Oh, boy. We did it. All right, so we can put these guys right here. All right, that's not where I said, but thank you. I don't think we need coordinated assault. I mean, we have to add a card here, so. I'd rather play like that four drop, the floater. The double white card? Yeah. Mm. I almost like Student of Ojitai more. Then put it in. This card's great, though. First Strike is super relevant, dude. Yeah. Like, it makes it impossible for you to lose combat. Plus Seeker. Ooh, Seeker with Coordinate Assault. Yeah, that's pretty decent. If you get Angelica Cord and Sultai Flare out, every time your angel dies, it makes another angel. Mm, that's pretty cool. That's almost tempting to try. We just have so few ways to trigger it. There's a problem. I mean, you're not wrong. I'd rather just play Student and call it a deck. Yeah, Sultai Flare and Seeker would literally be our only two ways. What's our removal looking like? We got Fireball, Austere Command, Iona's Judgment. Enlarge is kind of removal. Forcing them to block. Blinding Mage. It's a reasonable amount. I don't hate playing Guard Duty. I don't either. Do it up. Oh, what up, Sam? Good seeing you, buddy. There are certain bombs that's really bad against, though. Like all what? the dragons. Right, like you just don't want to give them... Like, sometimes just being a blocker is just not good enough. I mean, I think this is good in, like, the blue-white decks where you're flying over and you're like, make a ground guy a blocker. Attack for a million. I think it's this card. Like, this card, the life gain on this card is not irrelevant. And it's easier to cast than Sustainer of the Realm. Like, this is a 2-5 on defense. This is always a 2-4 on defense. I like that. That seems good. Sort by color. Add these five lands. All right, so we have one, two, three, four red sources. So this is, no, definitely going to six. Three, four, five, six white sources. Four, five, six, seven, probably eight here. I mean, everything is one one red, except we just for... cut the hoarding dragon. It's so bad for our mana. Why don't we just play something else? Because it's a four four flyer. It's so bad for our mana, though. We also have Lotus Cobra, though. I think it's fine. I will go to five here, though, because ultimately we only need, we usually we only need one. One two three four five six seven eight three four five six seven. Yeah, seems alright. Yeah, I like that. All right, let's see what happens. Michael, did you hear about this one? 
Tell me, are you locked in the punch? That is super loud. All right. I like it. I wish I was on the draw, or on the play rather, but I'm okay with it. No, our opponents aren't got the 41 card special over here. Rip. They're like, oh no, I kept a hand with only bounce lands. I mean, they're taking them all. What if that is the case? That would be hilarious. That would be brutal. I mean, that's a possibility in this format. Oh! This is a 48 card special. Mm. Okay. Yeah, this is a this is a grove of the burn riddles, not a third bounce land. That would be insane. This is this is a rare land. Thank you very much. All right, so our opponent has forty eight cards in their deck. That's probably a moto bug. I'm guessing. What having forty eight cards in your deck? Yeah. What's the bug? I just can't imagine anyone ever sleeving up a forty eight card deck. Like maybe the misclick on submit or something. How do you misclick on submit? I don't know, but forty eight doesn't seem good. mess up well our opponent might have I'm waiting so we're play the waiting game not a bug he's just bad Ouch. Ouch. brutal what up big yokes Yokums, what's going on, buddy? Killian's red, what's going on? All right, this is uh, our opponent's taking a little bit. Oh, now they lost the connection. All right, we're having a good time. Having a good time. Oh, uh, draft came along reasonable, I guess. I don't know. It's kind of a it's kind of a weird draft. We kind of ended up in Naya, but our lands came together, I think, and uh, we got some some strong high end cards. But also, our opponent has forty eight cards, and they've currently disconnected. So, as you do, if they're double queuing and they've submitted a forty one card deck, they're they should probably stop double queuing like forever. The forty eight special. Early Explorers Vixlon take fun game making land drops is key to winning. Is that the uh, the board game slash card card game? Oh, there we go. We got an island. We got a game, boys. We got an old DFSDF in the chat. Seems good. Sorry, it froze on me. All right, no no worries. No worries. That's life. Life is magic online freezing on you, boy. Discard a lure and play tormenting voice. Okay. Intriguing. That's unfortunate. So close. And we gotta play Garrison. We're gonna discard anyway, so. I don't know what's a discard, though. Probably enlarge. That's what I was thinking. Look at that kitty cat. Yeah, it's fine. See you later, kitty cat. 
Might have been Star Compass. Actually, it probably was one of the Thran Dynamo or the Star Compass. Like, we don't need both of these. Fair point. But what do I know? Fashionably late to the party planes. Maybe just play Thug. Thug it up. Blocks pretty well. I agree. I mean, just give away information. <laughs> You're right. You're right. So next turn we can actually go Thran Dynamo into Star Compass, which is kind of cool. That's a lot of mana. Which we have nothing to do with. Oh, a flare, eh? Actually, this doesn't... The damage should be dealt to you. Prevent the damage from a counter, so then it's a 2-1. And then it deals 2 damage to my guy. Mm. Oh, that works? Yeah. It's Wait, not... they get this combat twice? No. If damage should be dealt to it, prevent that damage. Remove a plus one, plus one counter from it. So our first strike damage goes through. Oh, okay, it's prevented. Yeah. If this removes the counter, so it's a 2-1, and then it deals its 2 damage. So it would just be a trade. Yeah. No, it wouldn't trade. Our, our guy would live. Right, because it would shrink again. Yeah, I got you. All right. It only shrinks one time. What are you saying right now? Oh, right. Our first strike first damage strike, goes yeah, through. Yeah, yeah. It removes the counter. And then then it deals regular yeah, yeah. damage. This guy doesn't have double strike. That'd be insane. First strike trample. What are you saying right now, Sam? Nicole is a luck sucking, luck sacking top decker. Nikki, you are totally a luck sacking top decker. Confirmed. Oh, that's cool. I mean, now I'm just chump blocking because it doesn't have... I'd rather just get these count... Oh, you're not going to let me? Okay. Okay. All right. Looks like we're getting hammered. It's, it's something. Our mana is fantastic right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. This guy is much bigger than I anticipated him being. Okay, that's fine. Okay, all of this is fine. You're going to return a forest, I bet. I'm also playing four colors, which is interesting. I mean, they have 48 cards, so... Ah, uh, yeah, true. Oh, and large would have been tasty on this guy. You're right. This guy again, huh? All right, chump block arena. Make it small enough that I can just... deal with it in the future. Don't be a land. No, that's pretty good. It's a big boy. I'm actually just going to return this planes because I want to have the forest in play. All right. So they have three cards and a forest in their hand. Jotty offshoot this late, huh? Yoakum with the $10 donation. You are awesome, buddy. <laughs> oh, man. Let me know if you ever need me to say that uh, Nikki's a luck sacking top decker again, because, you know, I'll happily oblige. It's the least I can do, my friend. <laughs> Yoakum is awesome. Oh, good deal, good deal. So we have one, two, three green. Arg. 
That means you can only use this guy one time. A one time? One, two, three, yeah. So we can. One, two, three, four. We can actually just play this guy, though. This dude's in. The problem with this guy now is if damage would be dealt to it, you prevent that damage and remove a counter. So if it has no counters, it just lives forever. It's just a 2 1 that lives forever. Is that how that works? How else would it work? Just an unkillable monster? Yeah. Huh. Well, that's annoying. I agree. I agree. Uh, Yoakum, tell them they came up into negotiations. <laughs> I, uh, I'm like a mercenary in that regard. Are you going to counter my netcaster spider? Because that doesn't seem great for you. Where you going, man? Is this your is this your candy joint? Is this your There's my spliff? I okay. don't <laughs> know if you got a light. I'll light it up on stream. Wow. Michael rolled his his little chocolate wrapper in the in the shape of a a marijuana cigarette. <laughs> a Lucy, if you will. Uh, no, that's just a regular cigarette. No, oh, man, it's a Lucy. It's a marijuana Lucy. Okay. <laughs> think there aren't they all Lucys then? They don't have packs of them, right? That's fair. Not yet. Wow, this netcaster spider. It froze again. Okay, cool. There we go. I was like, is he is he considering countering this? No, it's just a... It's just a freeze. Two cards in hand, huh? No, removing counter isn't a cost. It just says if damage would be dealt to it, prevent that damage. Period. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it says, remove a plus one plus one counter from Phantom Tiger. So that's just a part of the effect. If you don't have any, that's fine. The devil's lettuce. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Marijuana cigarette dying. <laughs> oh, man. It's almost like I worded it that way deliberately. Well, our opponent does have 16 minutes to win two two games with his 48 card deck. Internet roughage. Roughage? Yeah. You mean like vegetables and stuff? Mm-hmm. You... <laughs> that looks amazing. Yes, this is my golden cigarette. <laughs> I only smoke the finest gold leaf. Man, dude, having windows open is OP. The devil's burgers are interesting to say the least. What does that mean? Having the window windows open is only OP during certain days of the year. You're right. At the Yeah, it, like literally. Two weeks ago, I'd been like, no, no, sir. Uh, please, can you just lower the AC instead? I think our opponent is really having a, a tough time here. It's not ideal. You okay? No. Yeah, I could tell. I am a Jeff. That's good. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Well, it's a burger with marijuana as the lettuce. Gold-plated dude. All right, well, we're doing good in this chat. <laughs> there is something very funny about the term marijuana cigarette like that's just a funny term a marijuana cigarette <laughs> the boy. devil's ketchup and the devil's mustard okay there's too many devil items on your burger okay <laughs> devil lettuce mustard. mustard and ketchup you are gonna be high for weeks so you guys, uh, you guys come here often, or can't find a hammer hand? He dreams in color, she dreams in red. That's a Pearl Jam song called Hammer Hand. I don't know if you guys, maybe you, maybe you heard that one. Yeah, what a cool combo! Good, combo. Oh, that's a thing. Oh boy. This deck is something else, man. 
So this guy's a 3-3. This guy's a 4-4. This guy's an 0-3 that can attack. You can pump all your guys. Give them bigger butts. But 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 butts. I'm gonna hope you don't have Doomblade, I guess. Alright, we got an 8-8. Eight, eight. Spider City is where I live. Doodle 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 doodle. If this guy doesn't have trample, Sam, where is our uh, where is our enlarge now? Death of Rick, five bones. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. You are awesome. I'm a big fan of you. <sighs> this guy just attacks. They just block here. That's terrible. Maybe they don't know that. Even if they don't, they'd still block at least once to get the counter off. They know. They know. They could also just trade with the, with the other guys. With what? With their other guys. Because they have big butts. Well, I would just pump it and make it a 16-16. Oh, it doubles at each time? <laughs> yeah, it, put, it, it adds it adds equal to the power. So. Hey, boy. Hey, boy, 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 boy. If I was Popeye, that's how I would sound. Berserk. Exclamation point. I mean, Iconic Masters, it's not impossible. That the, there is Channel Fireball in this set. Man, I keep giving my opponent so much life here. 16, 16. Man, I'm regretting this. Should never got rid of the kitty cat. You're right. It's such a weird art. We can make this do a 23-23. Or, if we double it again make it a 32, we could have made it a 39-39. Wow. 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 I can never tell if they're thinking about responding or if they're just freezing. I think they're just freezing. It feels real sort of strategic, though. If this is a green. It's strategic to a point where it's like, okay, you have 12 minutes left on your clock. <laughs> you might you might want to hurry it up with these decisions if you are just thinking. Oh, play Swords of Plowshares. Gain 32. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> Why doesn't it have trample? It should be like, if a Hero's Bane's power is over 32, give it trample. Because at that point, you're just like, why can't I win with this thing? This is definitely going to be a match where we go to time. We're in game one and they have 12 minutes on their clock. This is why they don't let you design cards. Well, that's what's, that's actually a completely reasonable ability. You stick to your Hearthstone design, buddy, okay? Okay, thank you. <laughs> so one, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we have six and four. Yeah, that'll do. Oh, this is double green and this is double green. Arg! You can suspend him if you never want to see him played in this game. <laughs> oh lord! Like I feel like we'll find a, a second green, a fourth green before we before five turns. Probably. So I think it's probably just better to keep pumping this guy. God, there's just nothing we can do though. Like, I don't trust not having this guy on defense because all their guys are much bigger on offense than ours are now. Thanks to Assault Formation. I mean, they're going to gain a million life from Jotty Offshoot and my Grove of the Burn Willows, but... That's just the price you got to pay for, uh... For groving it up, I guess. My dreams and color, he dreams in red... Can't find a better mic. Can't find a butter man. <laughs> I was a butter man once. Were you? No, I made that up. Knew it. God, I'm such a liar. That'll do. That'll do. One, two, three, four. 
So we can go one, two, three, four, five, six. The next turn we'll have one, two, three. Four. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so we can go counter on you. One, two, mm -hmm. <clears throat> cast you. Don't talk about my butterman. This doesn't make any sense what he's saying right now. I guess we can start. Don't talk about my butterman, okay? <laughs> Uh, I don't know if we have any way to get Trample besides Enlarge, which is kind of sad. We do have Fireball, at which point we can probably just wipe their board and then start attacking for, for craziness. But we're definitely attacking next turn so they can just chump block with this guy. Enlarge would have been hilarious. Agreed. Oh god, I hate when we have to do this. There we go. Which of these three colorless would you like to use? Uh, two of them. Hmm. Thank you. At one point, does it matter to add counters anymore? Uh, I mean, when memes no longer exist. It's going to be a while then. I agree. This is good. Now other guys have reach, right? Seems okay. Yes, let's definitely rid our deck of a stupid... Oh, Sandstone Oracle, huh? A good one. Okay. Can't find a butterman. Also, I like this attack because if they do block with everything, we can pump this and make it a uh, 128. Just in case, you know. All right, so now you have an indestructible 2 1 forever, which is sad, but we got that counter off of him. You figured it out. It's not an abyss, actually, because they can just chump block with this guy every turn. And it never dies, because it prevents all damage to it. Every time they draw a lane... Oh, five, five colors. colors. A fifth color. Mm. So now their Swords to Plowshares is online. Gain 64. I would, I would activate in response. Okay. Whenever you gain life each this turn, each one loses that much life. All right, so you don't have a great way to gain life. You also don't have many ways to activate that. He can pay through mana each turn when he plays a land that deals one damage. <laughs> You're right. Oh, man, we're one minute shy of just activating this twice. We should have played this planes, I guess. It doesn't matter. Are you going for a record? Yeah, I'm going to fling it at their face. Oh, that would be good. I agree. Don't be a land. All right. Well, thank you. Why do you call? Target creature gains lifelink. So they can give one of their dudes lifelink, but then they can't also activate the second ability, which is fine. My god, look at this beautiful baby. In oh, it's in the planes. Nice. Well, they still only have one black, so they need double of both of these. This is a really... Look at this land configuration. They're, they've hit so many lands. Like, that are... Like, they've hit, like, the perfect configuration of lands here. So I think they're actually thinking of whether to, uh... Activate this in response. Or, again, they're just lagging. So, hard to say. Those One, two, the three, two four, five, six, seven, eight. We can actually... We're going to double activate this and make it, like, 500. It's going to be very big. That's what she said. All right, good talk. Dude, this enlarge was literally the one card that wins us the game in this spot. It's unbelievable that we discarded this. I would win this game real hard. This is where I'm. This, this is why I stopped listening to you. Took you that long, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my bad. Man, this is a heck of a decision, apparently. Or like, do I deal you one point? Doesn't seem that good. It doesn't seem great. No, not for three mana.
What's Triumph of the Horde? What is that? Anybody know? I certainly don't. We'll figure it out. God, if I can get rid of this hammer hand, then we got a pretty good attack here. Nope, they lost connection to the game again. Triumph of the Hordes. Oh, Hordes. I gotcha. Creatures you control got plus one, plus one, gain trampoline. Oh, no, God. That would be, yeah, that would be good. I think we'd have it. How big can we make this, I wonder? Now it's just a meme, right? Yo, because I like how you pull up the card with, with MTG bot and then you just and then you also say what the card does afterwards. Come on, buddy. Yeah, that card was busted in a new Phyrexia draft, actually. Because it's like, well, I'm dead. Yeah. 400, then it stops? Really? What? My electrostatic pummeler was 3 million. That's stupid. You can, you can only get maximum 400? Yeah, they must have changed it because when it was uh, Kaladesh draft, they had an electrostatic pummeler that was like 3.6 million or something. You actually did that? Yeah, you didn't see that, dude? No. Wow. All right, let me see if I can find it. I posted it on my website. All right, there you go. Do I have a search bar? Let me find out. I don't think I do. I should probably get one. Seems like a good idea. I mean, I haven't updated my site in like ages. Seeker of the Way seems good with Viscopa Guild Mage, but you have to have... Um, more than seven minutes on your clock. Well, you have to have more than seven minutes. You also have to have spells. And they have no cards in hand right now, so. That's going to be a while. That's not something the props can fix. I don't know where it is. It felt like it was... There it is. Oh, it was actually 4.7 million. Jeez. Yeah. The text was so tiny. It's like four, seven. Yeah, it's like really, really small. But you can go view image and then zoom it in. And it's four, seven, one, eight, five, nine, two. Yeah, slash four, seven, one, eight, five, nine, two. Four point seven million. So you're just trying to meme as hard as you could? Yeah, the, like that's yeah, that's all you got to do in Magic, right? You just if you can't beat them, meme them. I imagine you won that game. Correct. This game does need to die. You're not wrong. I mean, it, it, one way or another, it's going to die in about six minutes, I imagine. I don't think they're coming back from this, let alone winning another game. You could probably just F6 for the rest of the games and win. Yeah, definitely not doing that, though. Because knowing my luck, it would not work out for me. But... In the future. Would, how good would it feel to just F6 and win? Uh, it would feel good, but... Just the, F6, walk away, make a sandwich. How good it would feel does not outweigh how bad it would feel to lose like that. Sometimes you gotta gamble. No, but not this time. <laughs> but this sometimes, time I don't. Eh? Sure, maybe sometimes you do. This isn't one of those times. You sure. How many boxes of Unstable should I buy, guys? Zero. Why would I buy zero? Have you seen that set? But it's like you can't use them outside of those like one time. Every set comes with a full art land. Mm -hmm. Or every pack rather. And those are pre-selling for like two to three bucks. Oh. Which is basically the value of the pack. Mm, that's fair. And also every every box, every pack comes with a foil token. Okay. That's probably worth Plus the cards are super sweet and I'd put all of them in my cube. And I would just want to draft them. Would you get people together, get a little Magianos, and then do a little draft? That would require us finding, like, at least four other people who would want to do that, which is hard. I remember the days when it wasn't. Do you remember in Seattle where you could drive, like, literally anywhere on any day and find a draft if you wanted to? Yeah. Yeah. That was amazing. The weird thing is, too, is, like, I don't know what it is, but, like, 
we used to also recently be able to get people in Florida to come together, but now people just don't seem to be doing it. I don't know why. Your lands won't match when it's all said and done. What does that mean? The answer is still zero. What are you saying right now? How would my lands not match? Uh, we're not attacking with Hydra because this Phantom Tiger uh, will never die. It If damage would be dam dealt to it, prevent the damage. So. Draft with Twitch chat seems actually awesome. I don't know how to do that, though. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Hey, we did it. I think they're just making Murloc sounds in the chat now. But it's never stopped me from memeing before, so. Whoop, whoop. Let's see if it is 400, 400, because that's sad. Only whoever's turn gets to look at the stream when you show a pack. Right, but then how do they actually play the deck? And how do we get how do we make sure no one else looks at the stream? Like there's a certain honor system there, obviously, but I mean it's hard to do with delays, right? Like, because then I'll be like, okay, all done, and then they won't know because Magnets. Yeah, that makes sense. I didn't actually think of magnets. Dummy. Cancel. Counter on you. Come on, let's see. Counter limit reached. 120, 144 counters added. Wow, that's stupid. Why is there a counter limit? That's so stupid. It's just literally programming numbers. I don't understand. Cool. Unless they didn't program like numbers and made it weird. That's stupid. So I literally made... Why? Why is it like that? New image, open you down here. So I literally was able to make this guy one time, which is 4,718,592 by, you know, obviously the same. And, um, yeah. Oh, it's a counter number. This guy doesn't have counters on it, so that makes sense. 400 counters is probably the maximum you can put on a creature. I got you. It's still dumb. It's still dumb. Sure. You have you don't have 30 life, so that's a 1-1. One, one. I got you. I got you, fam. See, like, we're just wasting time now. Like, even if they win this match somehow, which is basically impossible, even if they win this game somehow, there's no way they win another match in two minutes. That's an answer. <laughs> and we gain some life deal. Could have also got rid of Guild Mage, but I don't think that does nah. anything. The lesson is to never discard enlarge. You're right. Could have dealt them like 400 damage. That's the world I want to live in. Oh, what what does this do? You're not going to get the 400, man. It's target creature gains lifelink, right? So you can't give all your guys lifelink. I'm just going to say okay. Maybe he's worried about trample, but he shouldn't be because any trample <laughs> would certainly kill him. I mean, I guess they could pump their guys? When you gain life this turn, I lose that much life. Okay. 
Uh-huh. So you only have one lifelinker, which is a 1-1. One, one. Oh, and then they pump their guys. Oh my god, did we just lose this game? Oh my god. <laughs> That's amazing! Wait, how we lose? Uh, because whenever they gain 4, 8, 12, 16, 24, they gain a million life. And so Viscopa Guildmage kills us. Oh. That's amazing. Actually, I can just deal all of it to this guy. You gotta be here a while. Can I just... Oh, I can hit zero. Yeah, I'll just kill this one guy. <laughs> sure, that, that's better. <laughs> That's, yeah. All right, we don't have to kill all those guys. That would have been a cool way to lose, though. I agree. That would have been amazing. Can you imagine if I literally, if they didn't have the, the scroller there, so I had to kill all of them? All right, I take four. You got it. That was a great, that was a great play, though. I'm, I'm actually surprised at that play. Because I didn't even see that. Like, because it takes three obscure cards. It takes Sultai Flayer, Assault Formation, and Viscopa Guild Mage. Like, I didn't actually consider the combination between those three cards. Interesting enough, if we had Trample, we would also would have lost there, right? Well, no, we would just deal all the damage to their... Oh, we'd have to kill all their yeah, guys. Trample, no, but yeah. they would die before the trigger is resolved. Oh. Okay. Because the Trample would just kill them. Right. But in some weird board state where we didn't have enough Trample, that would actually kill us. If, if what? If we didn't have enough trample, like say it was a small... Oh player. yeah, if this was like... Plus also, points. this is like a lot of blocking. This is 5, 10, 18, 19, 20, 21. This guy was probably 6, so 27. Still not 400. You're right. Oh, yeah, I could have just looked here, 27. <laughs> that makes sense. Even if you have trample, you can still deal all... Of, yeah, you could probably still deal all of the first creature. I guess that makes sense. Wait, how does that work? Because doesn't trample then you'd have to deal it to the face which isn't like how it would work right i don't know i don't think you can do that i don't know how trample works apparently because then trample would just be trample death touch on every trample creature right you'd always just deal to one creature and kill them what are you saying right now okay we just win cool three seconds left so now we get to side oh i guess we just win the match that's also okay with me Ooh, what an emotional roller coaster, man. Wow, the ups and downs. I thought we were going to lose. I mean, I didn't think we were going to lose the match at any point. I was like, that's just awkward if we lose this first game through, due to this uh, this oversight on our part. Keep in mind, guys, if our opponent next round has Viscopa Guildmage, Assault Formation, and Sultai Flare in their five-color, 48-card deck, uh, we, know how to, we know how to play around it now. Fluffatog. Okay, this is his hand is great. Turn two, Star Compass. Turn three, Wall of Roots, Boros Garrison. Sure. That is a lot of ramp into a huge Savage Born Hydra, I hope. Red's a good color to see when you're playing big creatures because a lot of times they just can't deal with them. Why can't you hear me? Am I muted? Is you, Are you muted? My name is Jeff. Is your name a Jeff? I don't believe your name is Jeff. You will one day. One day. Did you like that? Did you like that, Jeff? Did you like that, Jeff? Are you going to counter my counter spells? wall of roots? Wall of Rudy 2Ds? One day. I guess we just play one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. So we'll have six mana. We certainly don't play Hydra. <laughs> Definitely not. One, two, three, four. We can play this guy. Three, four, five. Play this guy and something else. Don't counter my Thran Dynamo, bro. My Th Thran Dyna, bro. 
Oh, they're going to do it. Cool. You got it. Yes, that's my son. Obviously. <laughs> ha ha ha, good meme. <laughs> it is good meme. I should have played land first. Why? Because now you can get mana leaked. One, two, three. Oh, right. <laughs> that's a wall of roots. <laughs> also, I'm going to play Sanctuary this turn, so I didn't want to play land first. You counter this guy too? Hoss? Are you sure my stream is not muted for you? Can you guys, can everyone else hear me? Are we good? Got a bunch of hearers in the audience? Look at that beautiful Hydra. Hmm, such a tough decision. Yeah, you got it. I'm just going to run you out of counter spells so this, this Savage Born Hydra comes down free and clear. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can make a six, six next turn. Can you just play something? Okay, I'll play a Kaiga. <laughs> you ready for it? At what point do we stop playing around counter spells? Is what I don't understand. Might as well play student first. Oh. Why would I name why if he if that was my son, why would I name him Frankie? It doesn't even make any sense. Play student and go go on beatdown. Sam, can you do can you do a uh a YouTube video on the student of Ojitai on the art here? Because I feel like this is a very iconic magic card. So Wow. Well we have an answer. I literally made a joke about it last turn. We can just make a huge Hydra and then Judgment. I mean, I'd rather do this now because I don't want them to untap and have counterspell mana up. Fair. And then I, I want to play Hydra and have them be able to get it, so. Look at that. And we gain life? Get out of my town, dude. I literally made a joke about having Kaiga last turn, did I not? You did. That's utterly ridiculous. I'm actually like, that's amazing to me. Come on, dude. This card is uh, is vital, dude. Essential. An essential essential card in the in the Naya toolbox, apparently. The beatdown has commenced. Human enlightenment is a firefly that sparks in the night. Dragon enlightenment is a beacon that Disperses all darkness. Here's my Ryuse. Whatever, nerd. Oh, look at this little cutie. Oh, wow, you tapped out? That's cool. That is cool. Boy, oh boy. Um, Let's do this first, because we're never going to be able to do that after the fact. We did play a land this turn, right? Yeah, play a planes. Give me that 8-8, eight, eight, boy. 4, 5, 6. They do get to attack for 10. Maybe 22. It's really like a Cryptic Command bounce draw card, attack for 10. And then they just kill us. That would be pretty good. <laughs> so many iconic magic cards in this incredible set. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the iconic Savage Born Hydra. Or the, the iconic Sultai Flare. Iconic Splatter Thug. Go ahead, name another thing iconic, I dare you. Uh, Furnace Whelp. Furnace Whelp. That's right. Furnace Whelp. I 
I add four mana and they ask me which four I want to use. All of it, dude. Well, we're definitely attacking with both guys here. Yeah. So you can put counters on your dude? Well, only at sorcery speed. Oh. But. Then maybe you should have done that before attacking. It's an 8-8. Eight, eight. It also has double strike. Yeah, like, are they going to pump it and try to kill it? They might. Okay, well, that's their, that's their choice. But it only toughs the power, so that wouldn't work out very well. Right. Aether Spouts is a thing. You mean Aether Eyes. I'd, be, I would, I think it, I'd laugh if there was Aether Spouts and Aether Eyes in the same format. That's too much Aether. They also sneak in an Aether Lang. That's, that is definitely not needed in this set. Man, if you think... Um, interesting. If you think Kaiga is obnoxious, put in Aether Lang, dude. I think Kaiga might be more obnoxious. Than Aether Lang? We just got rid of a Kaiga. We can't get rid of an Aetherling. Yeah, but there's situations where your board state might actually be better than Aetherling. And you never beat a Kaiga. Board oh my state. god, they just went to two? Did they not know this had double strike? Probably. I mean, I don't have anything to do with my mana, so... All right, you're at two. Everything I have is lethal. And you didn't have anything last turn. So this is weird. Um, your Wallow Roots isn't lethal? <laughs> um, not everything you have. Your Star Compass can't kill them. Uh, thank you. Pillar of Flame on Soul Tide Flare. Okay. What else you got? Rift Bolt on Soul Tide Flare. So now you're just in Chump Block mode. Oh my god, stop asking me. I'm just going to do it every time. I'm just going to make this dude big, big. Just because I can. That should do it. I don't think they can get past this guy. So This is where they're like, bounce it. Yeah, you dummy, you wasted your counters for nothing. See, this is the danger of doing cool stuff because... Do I just get to eat this guy? Wow. Delicious. Wow. Yeah, unless they can bounce it, the red the red blue deck also doesn't have any answers to this guy. They have like claustrophobia. Claustrophobia. And that's pretty well. that's pretty much it. All right. I think we bring an aerial predation, right? We just saw at least three flyers. Yeah. Yeah, like see, if we had something like guard duty, we definitely don't want to put it on Kaiga. That's just annoying. Let's take out Thran Dynamo. Our deck is actually very good. We haven't seen Fireball. We haven't seen Austere Command or Yose. We haven't seen Fire Main Angel. And I feel like we've been still been way ahead. If you know what I'm saying. I don't. Okay, well that's sad. <clears throat> wow, you were a disgusting individual. Truth. Awkwardly true. You have many gigantic threats. Get wrecked. Did you see what I said there? I see it. Sam said you have many gigantic threats, and then I said he had many gigantic threats. Can you tell me how straight that thing is? I, when I get it to peak straightness. Sometimes I like to straighten out these twisty ties, and then I'll show them to Mike and be like, hey man, look how straight this is. I don't think it's there and yet. Then, I don't think it's at peak straightness yet, but we'll get there. And that's what his craziness is. And, and that's the clinical definition of insanity. <laughs> Look how straight this is. Look Look at it. It. I like nature's claim if they also do have claustrophobia, but we didn't see any, so. That game was iconic. I almost remembered magic history for a second. Oh, this is great again. We go uh, Seeker of the Way into Celestia Sanctuary Star Compass. He sure will seek that way. I want you to seek the way every day. Every day? Yes, dude. Every day. Don't it's take no days, days off. Way too many days. 
All right, we need some red mana, but not yet. But not today. Plus, next turn we get to Star Compass and pump this dude. Ooh, don't have Pillar, though. Don't do it, man. Okay, we brutal. Dragon, Furnace, Skywise Teachings. Okay, that's definitely going to... We're definitely going to get rid of that. Always yield, always yield. Day after day. So they have to have an excess of two mana for every spell they cast. That's pretty good. Stump bean. Yeah, we're definitely bringing nature's claim for that. That's, yep. All right, here we go. Sing more, they say. All right. I mean, Netcaster Spider puts the kibosh on these guys, so that's cool. Do they have Mana Leak? Three cards. Mana Leak, Mana Leak, Mana Leak. <laughs> Oof! Got there. That should be good. One, two, three, four, five. So we can suspend this guy and pump if we want to next turn. Wow. Very aggressive. Claustrophobia. Oh, just a dragon idol? Huh. Hey. Hey. Two Sam's wrong in chat. <laughs> oh boy. Do we just deal them eight here? It's a decent amount. It's not a bad amount. I don't think we have any incentive to cast Dirkwood Bayloth here. So now they're in chump block mode. They just have to block Heroes Bane every turn if they don't have an answer. And they have two cards, and they didn't have an answer last turn. So that's good to know. Kaiga? Mnemonic Wall. Get Pillar of Flame back? Sure, that doesn't do anything. It does nothing. Is Pillar a sorcery? I'll never know, because there's no way Magic Online shows you the card that they... You think it is. I think it is, too. Oh my god. <laughs> so we can destroy enchantments and all creatures with power three or less? Oh my god. So we can wipe their board and kill their enchantment? Seems good. Destroy all enchantments and destroy all creatures with converted mana cost three or less. Oh, it's three. It's, it's converted mana cost. Okay. Well, that's, that's worse, but... So their wall would live. Yeah. Still seems pretty okay. Actually, let's do that first. Let's do the other thing first. Let's attack first, because then they probably block. Because otherwise they're dead. So we can get a free block out of them. You could save the command. I don't really need it. Well, I want to get rid of this, because otherwise they just go pillar, make a guy, and then they just make a bunch of guys. Yeah. But we could just play Dirkwood Boars. And How does this guy get flying? Dragon? We can also destroy artifacts and enchantments, which gets rid of this and this instead. That's probably better, actually. So it gets rid of a 3-3 three, three and their enchantment instead of a 2-2 two, two and their enchantment. And it gets rid of their compass. It gets rid of our compass, too. The Fat Chicken. Oh, the Fat Chicken gifting a sub. Thank you guys so much. Really appreciate it. You nice. are awesome. I mean, we don't really care too much about our star compass. We don't, but I'm just trying to figure out like how we deal with a Kaiga if they have it. I mean, I feel like they would have played Kaiga by now. 
The other thing is we can play a spider, pump this guy at one, two, pump this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, pump this guy during their turn. And then if they make another guy, uh, we can wipe the board of, of blockers because sure. they're probably attacking with this dude. And then we can just kill them. Seems decent. Yeah, and it lets us keep up aerial predation. I think that's fine. Or we can just draw enlarge and kill them with that. This is game two, right? Yeah. Dang. This match was quick. I mean, that, that, that presumes it's over right now, but it's not. I mean, I think, barring if they draw, don't draw like Kaigo or Cryptic Command, I think we're good. So we have Yosai and Austere Command. It makes sense that they would have Kaiga and Cryptic Command, right? Just blue versions of our guys. Yeah, that's fine. That ain't gonna do it. No attacks, huh? Okay. So we know your one one of your two cards is a pillar of flame. That's not going to do anything. Nope. I mean, it is a 4 for 4 <laughs> Alright, so convert a mana cost. If it was 4 or less, I would be I'd be all about it. I'd be like, kill, 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 kill. Attack. If we, it's 3 or less, it kills this, though. And it leaves these both alive. Correct. I almost feel like we have to austere command here. Forces them to knock us about next turn. We could do artifacts and cr and creatures. No, I want enchantments. I think it's enchantments and creatures. Or enchantments and artifacts. Yeah. Destroy all artifacts, destroy all enchantments. Tap the compass. Oh, uh, white, white. Four. Destroy all artifacts, destroy all enchantments. Sure. Of course, we're going to draw a hoarding dragon next turn, so. And they have to single block this guy if they want to block it, so. Put that pressure on. Alright, go to seven. Destroy all artifacts and enhancements. I drew a Kaiga. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wonderful. Four, six, seven. Now we need Zion's judgment. No, we just need a, enough creatures on board that it makes a difference. Are you going to make me choose an opponent? Don't make me choose an opponent when there's only one. Thank you. Or enlarge, enlarge, and Iona's judgment are both are both answers. So, having Cephalid Broker still on board, it's pretty rough. Because at a point where they can just block here, block here, take two. But they can't really attack, so that's good. What does Pikachu mean? What's he saying right now? No idea. This card is so good, dude. It's obnoxious. Choose I <laughs> choose you. Oh, I got you. I see what you're saying now. I'm picking up what you're putting down. What? 
do you do? There's no way you attack, right? That's the boldest thing you could possibly do. They discarded two mountains. I wonder if they just had two. They still have pillar in hand, so we know that. Look at these. Sphinxes look so weird in this game. Look at this weird neck. It's got a lizard neck. It does have a lizard neck. One, two, three, four, five, six. Still seven mana, though. That's pretty good. The problem is I was considering keeping Austere Command to destroy all creatures when this happens so that they'd get nothing. But if I did that, like, then they still have um, Star Compass and Skywise Teachings. And Skywise Teaching is literally just Drake Haven, so you get a million dudes. Like, blocks here, you just go block here, block here, take four, that does nothing. Or you can chum block here or kill our 4-4. Four, four. Rift Bolt. Okay, so that's fine. That doesn't do anything. Is it better to play both of these guys? Then you go block the two biggest guys. You take 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, that seems fine. We can do that. And then you can take them both out if you'd like. Yeah, I know we have at least two answers. We also have Blinding Mage, which is a third answer. So we have at least three cards that are good against uh, this situation. Yeah, obviously unleash that dude. Oh, they could also Rift Bolt and... Um, Oh, if they Pillar of Flame and Rift Bolt their own Kaiga, then their Kaiga gets exiled, so they don't get the trigger. So that's just fine. Maybe they'll forget that. That would be sick if they forgot that. Please forget that. To show me the way. God, can you start targeting me with that? Probably not. Is that too much to ask? Oh, we're also up a game. A mass and pillar of flame. Wow. Why does you get rid of a mass? That's insane, yeah. I you must have had two very good cards in hand. Kill Splatter Thug? Sure. Why didn't they just cast that last turn? That's a good question. That's weird. Yeah, if they kill their own flyer, I guess they do just lose to Sandstone Oracle. Claustrophobia on the Hydra. Sure. So they do have Claustrophobia, too. So we're definitely bringing in Nature's Claim now. I've seen two good targets for it. Not quite enough. But in the future... So we'd kill here. First strike would... The problem is... Well, they don't... Nah, nah, nah. The problem is first strike, I think. Because, like, we'd actually... Well, actually, if they block here... They're probably just blocking... One, two, three, four, five, six. We're, like, one away. So we'll just play you. And keep up the assault. Man, claustrophobia, too. Oof. So many enchantments. And artifacts, no less. Like, Nature's Claim just kills a Dragonloft's idol as well. 
It sure do. It sure do. God, looting for two every turn is just so ridiculous, dude. It's pretty good. It's it's, island and bad. a mana leak. Oh, I guess they didn't think their mana leak was useful at this point in the game. You don't have that much mana. You don't have that much mana. You're right. I was, I was born on a mana poor farm. <laughs> in the middle in middle America. So if we attack here, we just win if they don't if they tap out for something dumb. Double red. What is double red? Final fortune? That would be quite the gamble. No, gamble's one red. Gosh, I knew you were gonna say that. As soon as I said it, I was like, <laughs> here we go. Joke. Here it goes. He's gonna make a gamble joke. Oh, a little Welperino. That's an easy target for our aerial predation. Do we win if we aerial predate? I want that to resolve really badly. Well, let's see what happens. You got that dissolve? Is that your last card in hand? Dissolve. We kill this guy, you go to nine. You have two blockers. You're going to block here and block here. Then you still take six. Ah, and you go to three. Really? It is a dissolve? Cool. Well, at least we can kill that dragon thing. Is it worth it, though? You could wait. Yeah, still one shy of lethal. So I would I would assume they block Dirkwood Bailoff with Kaiga. They could probably just block Sandstone Oracle with Kaiga instead. Just to keep it alive. And then they could block here and here. And as long as they're blocking three dudes. Block, block. Actually, maybe they don't expect a pump spell. Maybe they don't expect coordinated assault. So they go block here, block here. Oh, they can't block. They have to block here. Yeah, actually, this could be good. Because if they block here, they can't block here. And if they block here, they have to block here, so they lose. I'll trade Sandstone Oracle for their Cephalid Broker because I think that gives us such a better long game. And it also puts them to three. So this attack is actually probably great. Oh, we gain two life with Predation. I thought yeah. they gained the life. Wow, that's so much better, dude. Yep, you're dead. Tricky, tricky. Got him. He did got him. All right. Good job, it got him. I'm surprised this deck is as good as it is. We're on the fast track for two packs. Don't you mean more than two packs? Well, I mean, I'm just going to assume that we're going to... Wow. ...going to lose this one, but... Wow. Okay. No spirit. I have spirit. Not, Not really. That wasn't even Dissolve Bait, really. I kind of wanted that to resolve, but I knew... Like, if they counter a coordinated strike when we're in the middle of combat, that's just terrible for us. Uh, yes, I will keep this hand. A little slow. What? We got turn two, turn three. Yeah, but, like, that's it. We can play anything we draw, man. I'm we'll just draw lands. Why do you like this? Was it, was it your upbringing? It's probably your mom. My mom made you like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
I like that the fat chicken uh, gifted someone a sub, but actually doesn't have a sub themselves. That's kind of funny. He's a giver. <laughs> that is, that's, that's funny. Also, I can appreciate that username. The fat chicken. I, yeah, me too. Same. But chicken's spelled interestingly. C-H-I-K-I-N? That's how you spell chicken. How do you spell it? It's close. Hmm. Very close. Hmm. Hmm. Why are you like this? <laughs> Who hurt you? The day. <laughs> oh my god. It's sad because it's accurate. My dad. Medium fan here. <laughs> medium fan i love it i you know yeah but see I, I feel like you shouldn't say love your stuff after medium fan i feel like a medium fan would like my stuff right i feel like if you're a huge fan then you love my stuff hmm i think we just netcast her here Yeah, it's better than Snap. It's not Snapcaster, but too poor for a sub. But you gifted a sub. I don't even understand. Maybe it means in like the long run, like he can afford one month, but not a bunch of them, so he just gifted it. But he could still do that for. All right, whatever. I'm not gonna argue. I appreciate it. That was awesome. That was a cool gesture. I'm just trying to figure it out. Are you gonna mana leak this netcaster? God, I knew it. I, I should have just played a stupid land. God, I'm so tired of Mana Leak in this format. I'm so tired of counter spells in this iconic Masters format. I think what they're trying to say with this format is that counter spells are one of the most iconic parts of Magic. Not being able to play your cards is a super iconic part of this. Wow, Hydra's for days in the sand. You sound like a salty scrub. <laughs> Why do I gotta be a scrub? Why can't I just sound like a salty player? Because I just wanted to use scrub. That's really well. A scrub is a guy who can't get no love from me. Sitting in the passenger side of his best friend's ride. Trying That's you, bro. Try, trying to holler at me. Yeah. You're always sitting in the passenger side of my ride. I always am trying to holler. You are. You are always hollering. I'm always like, that guy needs to chill out with the hollering. Oh, 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 oh. Holla, holla, holla. Can I holler at you? Can I holla? I mean, little does he know, this Seeker of the Way is just going to go all the way. Seeker of the Way goes all the way. He can go the distance. He, he to defeat. They're just gonna mana leak this too. I'm giving them so much value on these mana leaks. It's un it's unprecedented. Oh, the resolve. Did they give you fathers when they asked for my dad? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, yeah, it's not great. <laughs> Seeker of the way going all the way. What? Oh, all right, that's fine. God, we're gonna put you to twelve. Could even be less. Could even be a boat. Maybe. Well, I guess we just attack with both now. Alright. Do we just play Heroes Bane? Is Wrath of God in this set? Can someone let me know? Probably. It's in every it's in every master set apparently. You'd be shocked if there wasn't some form of wrath. Right, I'd be whatever. shocked if my name wasn't Michael Barbobbly Boo. Supreme Verdict is. Okay, that's interesting. Wow. Did I just play this? I. What, you want to do nothing? I don't want to throw it into their dissolve and give them a free scry. Then do nothing. Yeah, I'd rather do nothing here. Yeah, it's 100% dissolve. Sure. Now yeah, we should have dissolved. Or should have heroes baned. He could still have mana leak. He could still have... What? He was tapped out. Yeah, but only after you attacked. Or, I mean, only after you passed turn. Right. But that's what I mean. Like, if we played this, they wouldn't have been able to also dissolve. Or also mana leak there. Did they give me daughters? But you haven't got a clue. But I asked 
Four suns. I wish this guy could tap lands. I'd be like, tap your island. Second main. No, you didn't want to counter that guy? I was really hoping you did. I and mean, we haven't seen the dissolve yet, so I'm just going to sit on this and uh, let them repeal again if they want to. Otherwise, we're just going to play Heroes Bane next turn and keep up. Then we can also pay for Mana Leak. I don't consider Austere Commander Wrath, though. Like, Why not? I don't know. Because it, does... it costs six instead. Getting back their Mana Leak, huh? A mass. Okay. They have six cards in hand. That's a lot of cards. Can we just draw a fireball and burn their face? We have not. We have not drawn fireball once in this, in this league. We also haven't drawn, uh, fire main angel, or Yose. We have not drawn either of those. Any of those three cards one time. Correct. Well, you can tap their blocker at least. I mean, they have a thousand. They have thousand percent dissolve. <laughs> Sam, I've seen like six of your cards, dude. <laughs> I agree. It's it's like literally Netcaster, Spider, Hydra, Coordinated Assault, Heroes Bane, and uh, Seeker of the Wave. I think those are the six cards we've seen every game. Hmm. Do we have to coordinate a assault here? I think that's actually fine. Why would we have to coordinate assault? Because they can just make this dude and block. I'm, I'm just going to pass. I don't care. We'll call it a misclick. A misevaluation. I did not catch the draft and I'm convinced you're running 34 lands. Nice. Sure seems like it. I mean, I'm not opposed to that analysis. Here it is. I'll steer command. <laughs> oh, it's just fantastic, guys. Just fantastic. Yeah, that puts us in a pretty bad spot. Like a thousand percent as a counter spell. Actually ridiculous. Don't toy with our emotions. Just do it already. I mean, just counter it if you're going to counter it, man. Oh, okay. This is where they go repeal it for, for one. For three. No, no. All right, well. We get to keep our Savage Born Hydra. For now. They're like, oh, I own, I own his judgment, we'll do just fine. Sure. Or that. <sighs> Fun game. See, this is why I just feel like we're going. Going 2 1. Do you, you have to amass the opponents here, right? Alright, so that's actually pretty good then. It makes sense why they're doing the thing. So they definitely have a counter spell. There it is. Yep. Yeah. 
Just gonna keep making this guy bigger in case we do have an answer to claustrophobia. I don't think we do, but Iona's judgment. Or is that oh, three? Iona's judgment is exile enchantment. Yeah. So. Wait, make is it. it though? Yeah, it's exile a creature enchantment. Amass the components. Sure. Austere Command also gets rid of it. Sweet. So we have multiple answers in our deck. Hmm. We can actually wipe away creatures uh, with Converter Man cost four or more and enchantments, and uh, that's pretty good for us. Sam, you're not supposed to compliment a student of Ojitai when it's on the oppo opponent's board. Oh, God, I like that, but you have three cards in hand. It's not the worst one to get countered. Repeal! <laughs> I have multiple repeals. And of course you have another dissolve, why wouldn't you? <sighs> Mana Lake, Dissolve, Dissolve, Double Amass the Components, Mnemonic Wall, Austere Command are the cards you've played this game. Fun, all of them. Yep, alright, just gonna pass. It's <laughs> for the video! <laughs> Fantastic, I appreciate it. Oh, good, a third Amass the Components. Well, maybe he'll deck himself. Sometimes you just need to draw nine more cards than your opponent, I guess. More like a mass of the opponents, am I right? Nah, nah, I don't think so. We tried. Did we? N no. Wow. Super aggro. Very aggressive. How about this guy? Ten ten city. Maybe they just mill themselves before they can actually uh, win the game. So you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> Guard duty on my splatter thug makes him absolutely. Actually, destroying enchantments now would be just gas. You got it. I think we actually trade here. Yeah. I don't see a better spot, too. It's not doing much. And what's Cobra going to do on, on this board? Can we get a Yose or like a Grove of the Burnwills? <laughs> yeah, that was my second option. Is 15 lands too many now, I'm wondering? I'm not even playing Grove because the last thing I want to do is give you life here, so... You got it. Fifteen, fifteen. Alan, have a good night, buddy. See you later. We did not draw us to your command next, unfortunately. Fifteen is we have four bounce lands. Does that change things? Yep, still gonna still gonna kill all the four top four converted mana cost four creatures when we draw the last year command. That's, that's not it. So what other cards are in this deck? You mean other than lands and uh, one Savageborn Hydra? Nothing. Apparently not many. Did I play one this turn? I played planes. Okay. Can I fling this guy? The problem is 
He's just going to have a counterspell for our last card. Skywise Teachings number two. So again, we're definitely bringing in Nature's Claim. Yep, go to go to five. Just don't have a counterspell one time, and yep, all right. That'll do, pig. We're definitely taking one land out here. Next card, Austere Command. Fire Manager would have been reasonable. Yose, haven't seen you yet. Okay. So I'm going to take one land out. For a Nature's Claim. I'm going to take... One Thran Dynamo out for an Aerial Predation. Seems... Seems good. I think that's good. 14 lands. Four bounce lands. Yeah, bounce lands have always let you cheat a little bit, which is awesome. But the problem is you do have to have one non-bounce land in your hand. And with 14 lands and 4 bounce lands, we only have 10. So we're looking at 1 in 6. Or 1 in 4, because 40 card deck. So as long as we can hit our 1 in 4, I think we're good. But yeah, if your opening hand is like land, bounce land, and then other stuff, you're usually in good shape. So we'll see. And this hand's just great anyway, so cool. That's old Lodi Cobra. Lodi boy. It's your Lodi boy. Remember that time we uh, could not draw Austere Command? I remember. <laughs> I'm just going to play Cobra here. I want to get the Blinding Mage down and, and have it resolve, but... Cobra can deal some damage. Let's get in there. We'll play a Wall of Roots. If they want to counter that, we can play a Blinding Mage. Or if they... Yeah, that's what I said. That works. Mm -hmm. Add a white. Cool. Guess they do not have Mana Leak. I guess they technically still could, but it seems a little green. Yeah, they might have just been like, that's not worth tapping. Countering. Oh, that's pretty good. So long, Lotus Cobra. I hardly knew you. This is another problem with having 14 lands and Wall of Roots, Wall of Roots, Lotus <gasps> Cobra, Compass... Thran Dynamo. Yeah, hand's a little awkward. It's not great. We can kill whatever they play if it flies. Oh, got a canopy? Cool. Man, must be huh, nice. I'm 2 with the most expensive card in the format. <laughs> How nice. Seems good. Well, that's also good, but we don't have double white here, so... Cool. <laughs> oh, man. Having a good time. Don't stop me now. You kill this guy? Wow. You got it. What is even happening right now? We're losing the game. Oh, you have that too, huh? Jeez. Because of Man, course you, you an do. An to it, but... Give me one white. Thank you. That would have been sick. That would have been a perfect turn. We could play Fire Man Angel. Yeah, the one turn we tap. Sits that. in our graveyard. We can get it back constantly. Yep. Nope, that never works. This is where they go mana leak. Oh, all right, cool. I was like, this is where they go mana leak. Next time they go mass the components, make a 2-2. And then it's like, well, I can't beat that. 
There's no darkest timeline scenario where I'm able to beat that, so. And they did have the MS. I guess they just didn't have the mana leak. Let me make sure I play my second. <laughs> Got a handful of cards and need double red, double white. A thing resolved. Hooray. Yeah, I'm sure they're real threatened by our 2 4. They're just going to play Kaiga, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, they have Kaiga too? I don't know, probably. <laughs> They have everything else I mentioned, so it's got to be probably yes, right? Nope, just austere command, like you do. <laughs> Come on, dude. Ugh. Just make sure they always, they're always they always able to untap before I can play my threats, that's all. Yep. The salt is so real right now. Like, magic is literally giving me every card I need the turn after I need it. Oh, they didn't keep up double blue? What the heck? No, I guess I gotta give you a life here. At least we can eventually get this thing back. I mean, let's see if you got mana leak. Probably got mana leak. Oh, you don't have mana leak. All right. Interesting. We do have nature's claim. That's cool, in case you have claustrophobia. You probably just have Iona's judgment, which is like the perfect answer. Okay. Okay. Of course. Oh of course my you would have God. that. It's like not perfect draw every every It's game. literally the perfect answer for every single card we've played. I don't even understand what's going on right now. Nope, only six mana. No double red, only six mana. Your turn. Austere Command would have been great against Fireman Angel. Um, Claustrophobia would have been fine. We have Nature's Claim. Counterspell would have been fine. Every one of those cards would have been fine. Except they have Iona's Judgment. No, well, he's played a useless card. I mean, Survival Cash draws them two more cards, so. Oh, yeah. It does draw a card on it. Mm hmm. And then it rebounds. This guy could be good, except they still only have, like, three... Well, that's actually fine. If we draw a land, and then we go land Sandstone Oracle, that's actually pretty good, because we get to draw, like, two cards, I guess. That's pretty good. I mean, that, there are cards you have to draw on untapped land, which is not incredibly likely. Give me one mountain. Okay. I, I see. It's always going to be a thing that comes to play tapped, or some pretty much always. And that doesn't even give us a second red for hoarding, hoarding dragon, so. Correct. Yep. Hey, this is your one turn to play your spell because they're tapped out? No. Here's thanks. a tapped land. All right, thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate sure. Boy, it would be... It would be terrible if that mana came into play tapped. Hey, now they have Dissolve up. Great. Yep, because of course they do. Nothing like playing your six drop and keeping your three extra mana open. All right, let's see what happens. Now we get to draw one card and it gets countered anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Boy, you're being real negative right now. Well, you know, that's the way it goes when, yeah. All right. <laughs> Don't care what you have. All right. That was, that's the end. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Rip.